Welcome friends. In my introduction video to automating your homestead, I spoke about the basic principles and focused on how we collect data, such as temperatures and water levels. In this video, I want to focus more on how we could control elements of our homestead to make our lives easier. Now I'm going to focus on greenhouses uh, because they're an essential tool for homesteaders, allowing us to grow plants in a controlled environment. However, maintaining the proper temperature and moisture levels in the greenhouse can be a challenge, especially in summer when it's extremely hot. One way to overcome this challenge is to automate the ventilation and watering systems in the greenhouse. By using sensors, a microcontroller and relays, we can control the greenhouse environment in a more precise and efficient way. So how does ventilation work? Well, before I get too technical, don't worry if you're not familiar with some of the terms that I'm using, it was all new to me too, and I quickly picked it up by watching other videos or Googling things to get more information. If you have any questions though, then leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to help. Now, let's start. So, um, to control the ventilation in the greenhouse, we can use a temperature sensor to measure the temperature inside. Um, we saw that work in my second video. These would be housed in a box inside the greenhouse itself and powered by solar or batteries. The sensor sends this data to a microcontroller, which is a small computer that can be programmed to make decisions based on the data it receives. If you've seen the previous video, you know that I like to use ESP32 microcontrollers um, and they're, because they're pretty standard and they've got built-in Wi-Fi capabilities as well. The microcontroller can then use this data to control a relay, which is basically an electrical switch that can turn electrical devices on and off. For example, if the temperature inside the greenhouse gets too high, the microcontroller can use the relay to turn on the ventilation fans, helping to cool the greenhouse down. It could also control something called a linear actuator, which is just a fancy name for a window opener. The reason we need to, a relay to do this is because a relay can use the very low voltage of an electronic signal to then switch and control the higher voltage and amperage needed to power fans. Let me show you my prototype setup where you can see this working for real, albeit on my desk using small PC fans. Okay, here's our setup with our microprocessor and here's the temperature sensor. Here's the two relays or switches and they will control the fans. These are PC fans, clearly not um, what you would use to cool a greenhouse but um, they were a good representation. So let's put my finger onto the temperature sensor and we'll um, start to see the temperature increase until it reaches that first threshold which I think you can see there marked is 21 degrees. There we go. Relays come on, the fans come on and temperature keeps rising until it eventually reaches that second threshold of 22 degrees. Second fan comes on um, you could simply wire these to both come on um, with one threshold, but just uh, demonstrating really that you can vary it. Take a finger off, the temperature will start falling. Uh, first fan switched off as it comes below the second threshold, and then eventually it will um, continue to go down until it comes under the first threshold where the signal will be sent to the relay to turn it off again. Yep, there we go, lights gone off, fan slows down as it's turned off, and that's done. All working great. Okay, back to our greenhouse. Um, so, in addition to controlling the ventilation, we can also use sensors and a microcontroller to automate the watering of our greenhouse garden beds. By using a soil moisture sensor, which I demonstrated in a previous video, to measure the moisture level in the soil, the microcontroller can determine when the plants need water. If the moisture level falls below a certain threshold, the microcontroller can use a relay to turn on a water pump, 
ensuring that our plants are getting the moisture they need to grow. With a single pump, but using multiple relays, we can control multiple electronic water valves to send water to specific zones or beds, making sure water is only used where it's really needed and in the right amounts. Of course, we would only switch these on in the evening once the heat of the day has largely gone. By using these two sensors, a microcontroller and relays, we can create a fully automated greenhouse system that can control the ventilation and watering of our plants with precision and efficiency. I hope you found it interesting and maybe even helpful. And if you like the video, maybe check out some of our other videos as well. In future videos, I will look at the specifics of how to set up this system using different types of sensors, microcontrollers and relays. And if there's anything else you'd like me to do a video on, then do leave a note in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as this helps um, us to grow our channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon on another video. Take care. Bye for now.